West Virginia has only four miles on the Appalachian Trail, and Maryland is some of the flattest miles on the entire AT, but that does not mean they should be skipped. In 2023, we section hiked 1,225-ish miles of the Appalachian Trail, the longest footpath in the world. We spent 13 weeks day hiking, working, and van camping on the AT as we moved up the trail slowly from Georgia to Maine. My name is Mike R., and in this video, we are covering the section hike of the area on the AT from Harper's Ferry, West Virginia, through the state of Maryland. If heading Nobo, which is northbound, on the Appalachian Trail, the Virginia, West Virginia state line is marked as mile 1008.7 of the 2023 AT distance, and the Maryland-Pennsylvania state line is mile 1,607.3. This 58.6-mile stretch is what we covered in three days, and you're going to gain 9,500 feet of ascent and 9,400 feet in descent. Harper's Ferry and Maryland Appalachian Trail section hike need two nose. The Appalachian Trail Conservancy headquarters is located in Harpers Ferry and definitely worth a blue blaze stop, whether you're a through, section, or day hiker. And if you're interested in photographing, like myself, the white blazes of the AT, Harpers Ferry has some of the most interesting ones around. Maryland's first miles heading northbound are amongst the easiest miles of the trail, but the state definitely gets more difficult as it goes along. The first Washington Monument is now a state park in Maryland that you're gonna hike through. And while Maryland doesn't have very many trail town options, the shelters are available and you're close to many different options for lodging in bigger towns slash smaller cities that are very close by. It was a record breaking heat wave while we hiked this section that led us to take our first hotel night out of the camper van because the van doesn't have AC. It was in the mid nineties, even during the middle of the night. And while Harper's Ferry is short. Visiting the AT Conservancy and walking around the side roads of Harper's Ferry, super interesting, super fun to experience. I think Maryland's a very underrated AT trail state, and this is a great section to play around with that has less crowds and is more suited for those newer to backpacking multiple nights on a trail due to its step less steep portions. And finally, the state crossing from West Virginia to Maryland might have been one of my favorite uh, ones of the entire trail. It's a bridge that connects the Potomac and Shenandoah rivers with a train track right beside it running from Harper's Ferry across to Maryland. We camped at River Riders in Harper's Ferry, West Virginia for the first two nights of this section and then jumped up with a drive after hiking to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, which we stayed in a hotel due to the concern of our dog safety sleeping outside during the heat wave. Maryland's section of the AT includes the beautiful Weverton Cliffs, the original Washington Monument, the stunningly gorgeous and strenuous stretches to Annapolis and Black Rock, and Penn Mar Park on the border with Pennsylvania. It also includes a flat towpath that makes you feel weird having a backpack on as locals zip by on bicycles. Harper's Ferry provides a story of America's founding, its roots in slavery that erupted with John Brown in the Civil War that it is still trying to come to grips with today, and is now a fascinating national historical park to walk around. This section of the AT was a prime example of why we set out to hike the Appalachian Trail in the first place, to find areas of the country we normally wouldn't visit or find. It's a less popular section of the trail amongst the hiking community compared to the epic beginning and ending of the AT, but I loved hiking and exploring here. It shed stories and gave us experiences we wouldn't have otherwise found. This is what sections of the Appalachian Trail can offer you, the chance to grow while having a healthy outdoor adventure. We completed this stretch of trail in three days, but some do it in one and some do it in five or six. Hike your own hike, friends. It's also an easily accessible stretch of the AT that doesn't put you too far off the grid into the woods. For those looking for that, see the whole state of Maine. Thanks for watching. Thanks for reading. Whether you're planning a through section or day hike or you're a trail town local trail angel or just someone wanting to learn more about the longest footpath in the world, I hope the AT gives you what you need. Don't forget to leave no trace and pack your 10 essentials. Until next time, Mike R. signing off.